Good guy, little guy, little guy, little guy. Your things aren't being packed. All right, guys, we're in Phoenix. Um, we've got a hotel for tonight because we're leaving. We have an early, early flight. So we just drove in a couple hours from the desert. So we'll be up early tomorrow and heading to Toronto for uh, first greeting the family and then. I think the funeral's Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday so. We also got long-term parking for the truck, so we're gonna leave it there and just take a shuttle into the airport. We left the motorhome at a campground back in uh, outside of town, and uh, we've had it there for a couple of weeks now and made friends with one of our neighbors. The land has become good friends with his dog, so he's uh, offered to take care of Lando while we're gone, which is really nice. So he's uh, feeding and watering him and putting him to bed. And Lando will feel quite comfortable sleeping in the RV. That'll feel like home for him. And uh, so he'll be in good hands. But also a lot of you, um, first of all in the comments, the outpouring of love and support from all of you is uh, incredible. And the amounts of prayers and condolences coming in is just blowing our minds. So thank you. We have, we've said this before, but on YouTube, the, the best audience in the world and you, you, you folks are uh, like family to us and we've also had lots of offers and texts and from people saying you know they'd be happy to take care of Lando for us and anything else we need so thank you to everyone um, for your love and support. Good job, man. Huh? You did it.
What a wonderful inspiration you were to follow after you. Thanks for what you've given all our dear children. That was a uh, testimony to your work. We sang songs well into the night, celebrating a life well lived. And although for a time we have lost a beloved sister, aunt, daughter, and mother, the heavens shine even brighter tonight. The celebration of life continued the next day with our Opa and Oma, where we enjoyed listening to the flood of memories and stories of their second daughter, Julia. little cozy coffee shop um, in a town that we used to live in when the kids were really young and, and just growing up and it's a special time especially after um, saying goodbye to Julia um, to spend with all three of the children here um, just there's just so many beautiful memories from this area and uh, we actually just got news a few days ago that my mother passed away so we will be heading to Oregon to say goodbye to her and to be with my father and my family so it's a uh, been a, a rough week for sure um, so th I, this is nice to just be able to hug and spend time with family and friends here and it has really been healing for both Peter and I to see Opa and Oma again and to see all of you and um, to just use our time and spend it and hug and and uh, remember wonderful memories and create new memories so we will be saying goodbye to Caroline but uh, hopefully we'll see her at Christmas Love you. We just made it back to Phoenix, um, picked up the truck, we had it in uh, long-term parking and we are heading back to go see Lando. We had an amazing time with uh, friends and family, completely exhausting uh, emotionally and physically, but just a powerful time remembering my, my sis and uh, spending time with her kids and her husband and yeah, it was just Awesome. It's going to take a long time to process, but we don't have a long time. Unfortunately, um, we're heading to another funeral. Uh, I've, I've 
forgot about it. It's only been what, four days? Wow. <laughs> Still going a hundred. Wow. Oh. 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 Is that your pay? Oh. All right, so we just dropped off the bikes. Um, we we're about to leave them in our camping spot there, but then the owner of the campground mentioned that we could pull them out around back here into a little gated, fenced-in area where they'd just be a lot safer while we're gone. So that was nice of him, and uh, it gives us peace of mind that they're at least locked away, and he said he'll be watching them for us. All right, we've decided to put everything into the one vehicle just to uh, make, make it not such a big convoy heading north. The boys are quite comfortable in the back here this big crew cab Ford and uh, we're heading up to Oregon for the funeral and Lando's coming with us this time since we don't have to fly. Our route will take us 1,200 miles, or 1,900 kilometers, straight north through the beautiful state of Nevada and into eastern Oregon. We will then head west through the mountains to the Willamette Valley where Mom grew up. All right, we made pretty good progress today. We are now in halfway up Nevada in a place that we've been a few times. It's called the Big Dune. It's just gorgeous. It's all BLM camping, free dispersed camping out here. So we think we have a good spot and uh, for the night. So we're gonna pop up the uh, camper and get set up. This is really exciting. We got a fresh batch of hoodies just in time for Christmas gifts, if you wish. They are so comfortable. I do recommend ordering a size up from your normal size. But what do you think? I've been wearing the same sweatshirt in the last 25 <laughs> videos, so um, it's really nice to change. Try something different. But yeah, it's uh, a new design we came up with, which I think is really simple. It's not changing our logo, it's just a, it's a new design, so. Check it out. Go to effortstore.com and get you one while they last. There's also some patches, which I patches will show and you. Patches stickers. And there's hats coming, so it's pretty exciting. Yeah. Hey, show my uh, dad showing the patches. Do I get to put on my sweater or do I have to give you one? We keep changing up because the kids keep throwing. All right, what do you do with the jib? Um, we still have them. One is. Oh, you want to call the way back? Yeah. yeah. What's, what's your uh, about from the weather to the birds? I love this camp so much. Every time we come here, we get the most beautiful skies. Um, just amazing weather, too. You can feel it's a little chillier than where we were coming from in Arizona. The further we head north, the colder it's going to get. And, Likely, by the time we even get close to the Oregon border, it's going to be, uh, you know, in the negatives. 
uh, get really cold, probably get snow and ice and everything. So it's going to be fun. This place has always been kind of a halfway point for us because it's, we normally don't do the biggest pushes by the time we make it here. It's either like we drove five or six hours from somewhere to get to here or like today, I think it was five, five hours without any stops time, like five hours of travel time to get here. But, uh, always seem to arrive at the prime time of sunset right in golden hour and now this incredible just cotton candy sky happening right now Dan and I will be sleeping in the front seat um, obviously if we were just traveling here for normal you know to go around in the backcountry reasons we'd have our bikes and be able to go on the big dune here or the Jeep with us as well and be able to camp properly but we're heading uh, heading north for a you know, sad reason. Obviously our grandma passed away, which is just horrible. Like hasn't really hit and I I don't think it fully will until we're there, you know, and you're seeing all the family and a big part of what made going back to Oregon special isn't there anymore. Um I think we'll all feel it then, but uh, for now I don't know, we can all just enjoy these types of sunsets as a family because the last week has really taught us anything. Stuff happens so fast and you can lose things that you don't think you will. You know, eventually we all know you have to part ways with people you love, but uh, when it happens like this, it just feels way too fast. And then, you know, there's good and everything, even in bad like this, but uh, still just sad all around for all the families and all the people involved with loss like this. But uh, I think it's gonna be awesome to go back to Oregon, see the family and you know, more in the loss of our grandma, my mother's mom, but then, I don't know, come together around that same loss and, you know, spend good time together. So, tonight should be fun. We'll just cook a simple meal and then uh, I believe we're waking up early and making a big push tomorrow. <sighs> Had a great sleep here. Big dune. It's about six o'clock, so we're, uh, we're just gonna grab a coffee or two and uh, pack up and hit the road. And we are headed north to Oregon to attend the funeral, to um, pay our respects, and to celebrate a life well lived, which is Carol's mom, the kid's grandma. She'll be sorely missed. She's such a wonderful person, and uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a tough time, but. We hope to spend some time with the family and instead of rushing all the way back, we're probably gonna stay for throughout, through Christmas and, uh, and then we'll head back south. But yeah, you never know what uh, the plans are. You know, you can, you can lay out some pretty good plans and then everything changes. But I think part of life is being flexible and ready to go at a moment's notice if uh, you're needed somewhere else. And that's been our experience so far this winter. So we uh, are packing up this morning and we're gonna continue the long journey north to Oregon.
years ago we were in Oregon, we were heading south and uh, we left our motorhome in Redmond and all five of us jumped into the into the um, Vandy at the time, we didn't have Worsley yet. We had that CVT trailer and five mountain bikes and uh, we, we, were, we came down to the bottom of Oregon into Nevada here. We had two options. This road we're on now, which on the map it said it's called America's Loneliest Road, and there was almost no fuel options the whole way. At the time, we didn't have our uh, our long-range America fuel tanks yet, so I opted to go all the way around through kind of closer to Reno, Nevada, and then down. But now we're doing it. I always wanted to do this road. We've got plenty of fuel, and uh, yeah, it certainly is lonely. We've only seen a few vehicles the whole way. It's beautiful, though. Believe it or not, we are back in Oregon. We just crossed uh, pretty much all of Nevada today. Um, we're still six and a half hours from where we need to go in Oregon. We're way on the east side, southeast. But um, we'll get another hour or so today and then it's a good uh, five and a half hours tomorrow. And we'll be uh, back with our family out there. We weren't expecting to be back in Oregon so soon, but uh, we're here. I did. Thumbs up. Alright, so last night we pulled into this little spot we found on iOverlander. It's called the Camp Gap Ranch and it's pretty neat. I mean, we had a really nice quiet sleep. We're just off the highway between Burns, Oregon and Bend, Oregon. And uh, it was very quiet, a little bit of traffic noise, but not nothing that definitely didn't keep us up. Um, but when we got up, this spot here is pretty neat, a uh, historic spot. It was uh, created in 1933 through the Great Depression. And, uh, you know, Roosevelt got a lot of people to work by doing different projects. So they built this road and here was a camp with over 200 people working. And uh, the neat thing is some of the buildings have survived. So in the background you see some of the camp buildings um, where they fed, or the, I guess they were kitchens and they had a lot of other buildings that haven't made it over the years, but enough remnants here to see the camp. Water towers, two water towers where they stored all their water and uh, yeah, they just worked here for years building the, the road. So a neat piece of history if you're ever coming this way, looking for a nice quiet place to camp, Camp Gap Ranch. All right, we are all packed up and we're carrying on towards Salem, Oregon. Um, even though we're going through lots of beautiful country, we're starting to realize as we get closer, the reason for our trip. And uh, it's starting to really sink in, um, not, what we wanted and definitely not what we expected complete um change of plans for us and and just a a sad event but also a happy reminder of a beautiful lady who raised up our mom and uh grandma was so special to the kids so we have three or four days of celebrating her life which is going to be both heart wrenching and I think uplifting and quite a good time with the family so and we're like I, I probably said several times on the trip but we're we decided since we drove all the way up here we're gonna spend the entire month and spend Christmas with the family they're gonna need it we're gonna need it 
Grandpa's going to need it. And uh, so that's why we're up here in Oregon. And it was really special when we entered Oregon. Um, mm. The sunset just lit up the Steen Mountains, and it was quite a warm welcome back here. And then tonight, we, or last night, we found this beautiful spot, a, a uh, historic spot, which my mom always loved. I mean, she would make my dad always pull over at anything historic, historical. So it was really special. You could kind of, I just feel her all around us um, on this journey. Back to you. say goodbye. Anyways, moving on as they say. Crossing from the Bend and Sisters area of Central Oregon, but to get from there to Salem area where we're going now, we have to come over these mountain passes. This one was Sentium Pass, and uh, there's a little bit of snow on the ground now, but in the winter they can get a ton of snow, as indicated by these uh, markers. They're about double the height of this truck. I remember coming up here years ago to go skiing at Bachelor and. Just being impressed though, with the size of the tunnel we were driving through. Just high banks on either side and the snow blowers were trying to blow it up over the banks. So they get a lot of snow up here in the mountain. final stretch. Lando, we've been here often enough in the last uh, couple years, uh, Lando knows this area and he wanted out, he wanted to run the last mile and a half to uh, Uncle Jason and Aunt Beth's place. We're here, it was a long journey. We came all the way from pretty much the Mexican border up to within six hours of the Canadian border. A long drive but uh, we're glad to be here and uh, begin the uh, remembering and uh, celebration of Grandma's life. Although she is gone much too soon, the remembrance of our beloved grandmother, mom, and friend, Phyllis Marcel Martin, will always fill our hearts with laughter and joy, and the memories of her loving embrace. And then the funny part about it was, is that if you say, Mom, what were you trying to say? You know, she'd go, uh... <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> the whole bench was shaking. <laughs> Grandma loved sending us pictures of the beautiful Oregon countryside, the birds, the wildlife, and the mountains. And so today, the whole family has come together to take a hike along one of her favorite waterfalls. Mm -hmm. 